Okay, so we're going over one arm Tayatoshi, and this is when Cameron's a righty and I'm a righty, or I'm a lefty and he's a lefty, so it's called the same side position. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take his dominant arm, his right arm, and I have to control that sleeve, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it all the way across to his opposite hip, okay? We're still starting in a square position just to learn the technique, okay? But this arm is pushing, and what we'll do is we'll get a reaction from him to push back, okay? Now we'll be here, and I'm looking at my watch. I'm stepping at the top of the triangle, same way we did for the classic Tayatoshi, with our foot 90 degrees to the side. And what I'm gonna do here now is I'm chopping just with my hand here. You can put your palm in the bicep. You can grab the gi if you want to. I don't think it's necessary, but I just do a karate chop. That's what we call it, okay? right at the bicep. We don't wanna to be too low by the wrist. We can be at the elbow or the bicep in the shoulder region, but in between the elbow and the shoulder is a perfect position to have. I'm still looking at my watch here and I'm keeping this nice frame so that when I pivot, just like we did for the traditional version, right, I'm already starting to break my partner's balance around me. I should still have a great position, uh, head, shoulders, hips in line, and then I step across, same way for that normal Tayatoshi and then I finish in that ax chopping motion all the way down to my foot. We don't wanna just go tip digger down where we just put our head down to the floor. So I grab the sleeve, we're in a square position, comes over, to, uh, comes over to the opposite hip, step at the top of the triangle, I'm looking at my watch, karate chum, pivot, step across, throw for the one arm tie toshi. One more time. Push it across, step, pull, chop, pivot, step across, finish.